Did you know that Iran has their own stealth fighter? Or at least that's what they really wanted people to think back in 2013 when they unveiled the Kahar 313. Now, Kahar means conqueror, and that was really what they were aiming for, at least when they talked about this aircraft. It was claimed to be on par with any other fifth generation fighter like America's F-22 or F-35. And in 2013, if it had gone into production, it probably could have beaten Russia's Su-57 and China's J-20 into service. Of course, it never actually did go into production. Iran has long struggled to field really effective fighters. In fact, today their top fighters are the F-14 from Top Gun. That's why you saw Maverick flying against them in the fictional version of Iran we saw in Top Gun Maverick. Currently, Iran is the only nation on the planet operating F-14 Tomcats. America gave them 79 of them before the 1979 Iranian Revolution. So what was the Kahar 313? Well, it was supposed to be a single-seater, single-engine stealth fighter that, according to Iran, maintained its incredible low observability through a combination of its radar-wicking design that does look reminiscent of other stealth fighters, as well as the use of radar-absorbent materials, which probably wasn't true because those are really expensive and Iran doesn't have the money. Now, when Iran wanted the world to think this fighter was really coming, they started by unveiling it in front of the world and then releasing a pretty crappy video of what was clearly a scale model RC airplane flying that they claimed was really the fighter. If you look closely at the fighter itself, though, it doesn't look like it could fly at all. The cockpit is incredibly small, the whole aircraft is incredibly small, and there's no nozzle for the jet engine, which means if you were to hit the afterburner, you'd probably burn the fuselage up. According to Iran, it could carry either two 2,000-pound bombs or up to six air-to-air -air missiles. They said air-to-air -air missiles based on either China's PL-12s or Russia's R-27s. But in either case, it's all but impossible that you could cram all that missile into this tiny little platform. Iran rolled this jet out one more time in 2017 in hopes that people might buy it, but by 2018 they seemed to have moved on from pretending they were going to build a stealth fighter, and they unveiled the Kausar fighter, which is very evidently just a copy of the Northrop F-5 that first started flying all the way back in 1959. To be honest, that's more Iran's speed anyway.